it is bright hello guys and welcome to vlogmas day eight i can't believe it's already day eight it's gonna feel so weird when vlogmas is over and i don't have to film and upload a video every day i've actually really enjoyed doing the daily vlogs actually a lot of fun i thought it would be a little bit stressful because editing and uploading 12 videos 12 days in a row is kind of a lot but i've actually really liked it so today guess where i'm going the post office because i go there like every single day for fun not really but i go there a lot we are going to be sending out our christmas cards today and i need to send out a package to my friend maddie and i also need to send out a package to my grandma as well so we got a lot of stuff to do when it comes to the post office it's really hard though when you have a baby because it's like i don't want to leave him in the car but at the same time i don't have enough hands to bring in all of the packages and carry him in his car seat pastel is literally eating the christmas tree right now i hear israel let's see if he's waking up my baby I think he's waking up hi my love you want to wake up here you go no stretches? No stretches today? What? What? But as I was saying, it's hard to carry all these packages and him in his car seat. So there's been a couple times where I literally put him in his lily baby carrier and bring him in because I definitely don't want to leave him in the car. But it's like things like that where you're literally going to be in the store for 10 minutes. It's like... This is annoying. <laughs> you smiley. Hi. Hi, you cute boy. You so cutie. I'm going to get you up, okay? And then we have to get you dressed for the day. You've got to be kidding me with this outfit. you got to be kidding me. He's wearing a cute little, I don't even know what this is called, like a sweatshirt tank top vest. Thing? What is it? You tell me. What is that? With some cute little joggers and this sweet little organic onesie by Rainbow Kiddo. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. And Aiden just got home too. You've got a lot to say, don't you? For the longest time, I have had a lot of you guys requesting that I do a video all about my baby wearing devices. I have four different styles of baby wearing stuff. Two of them are the same and I'm going to go through them from the easiest to the hardest ones to wear and then I'll talk about like why I like them, for what reasons, which ones are my favorite, which brands are my favorite and things like that. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see everything. I might need to actually step on a stool or lower the camera because... <laughs> okay, I'm going to... The very first one that I'm going to be using is my Lily Baby Carrier. And this one is the easiest. Oh my goodness. This one's the easiest out of all three different types that I own. So it just has a strap that goes around your waist like this. And then I'm going to go get my baby and show you guys the rest. I actually am going to put my hair up so that it's a little bit easier to do this. All you have to do is strap it around your waist, grab your baby, spread their little leggies apart, grab one side and the strap that goes over your shoulder. And then I switch hands that I'm holding him with. So I'll go like this and grab this strap, put it on. And then there is one more clip in the back 
there we go and then you always have to make sure that their hips are aligned right because sometimes i'll put them in and one leg is like this and the other is like this so i have to make sure that he's in there really well and that his legs are situated okay and then this has a really nice head support to it too so if he's sleeping or if he's like laying his head to one side and i want it to be supported then i can clip either side this also has a sunshade function which i use this for eating purposes so like if he's fallen asleep and we're eating dinner i will put this over him so that i can eat and not drop anything on his head but i like this one a lot and this is my go-to as far as going grocery shopping because it's easy on easy off same with at home i also feel like he's very very supported in here i can bend over and not worry about him i usually still will support his neck when i'm bending over but this is just super easy because it's only two straps and he's just like he feels so supported the way that the weight is distributed on this like really feels good on my back and my hips and everything like i just feel like really good when i'm carrying him so i would say that this is my favorite carrier right now when he was a newborn though i did not use this one because i felt like it was a little bit too heavy duty if that makes sense and too supportive and plus he was so tiny that i highly doubt that his little hips could even fit through here because he was just so tiny so this is the one that i like to use pretty much daily huh can we just appreciate his adorable little outfit that he's wearing right now he's so cute okay i'm gonna put you right here and we gotta do the next one so the next one that i actually have two of is this wrap so this one is the solly baby wrap and i also have one in a like brownish color by tuck and bundle these are my favorite for oh he just spit up these ones are my favorite for the newborn stages and i actually what? used my tuck and bundle today when we went to we are okay when we went to the post office so this one is really nice because you can always put it on like before you leave the house. That's what I did today so that you can have it ready to go and just put your baby right into it. So this one is a little more tricky as far as putting it on. But for my tuck and bundle wrap, there's just a tag where the middle is. And same with the Sully right here. There's a tag which shows you where the middle is. So you put the middle. I usually do it like right under my boobs. And then you take both sides and crisscross them around your back like this. It doesn't matter which way you go. If you want to go this way or this way. Oh my goodness. And then you get a hug from your husband. You might need to keep him um, entertained. Oh. So you crisscross them in the back like this. Oh, hi. And then you're going to you? grab one side and pull it over your shoulder, like this. Come here. And then grab the other side and do the same thing. I'm gonna need him then. I got him. So then the back is looking like this. It's not as pretty as it could be, but the front is like this. And then once again, you're gonna cross them over the front of your body, like this. And then you take both of the little tails in one hand and pull them through the front. And this will take you like several times to really get it and get it tight too. I still kind of struggle with getting it tight. But so make sure that they're still crossed in the front and then you pull them once they're through the middle. I pull them around my back and back to the front. So now this is what it looks like in the back and then i just tie it off to the side like this this one is definitely like extremely comfortable like i said i used this one today because israel was fussy we needed to go to the post office and i wanted something that was just super easy so i drove like this to the post office okay so now i need my baby for the next no he mine 
He mine. Okay, so you are going to want to put your bait here. Let me grab him first, I guess. So grab him, and I always put him to my chest. Whatever side is touching your clothing is the one that they need to go on first, if that makes sense. So see how this side is like over this one? The one that is closest to you, closest to your body, is the one that they go in first. You're gonna grab that leg and put your baby through like this. You're okay. So the one side is completely <laughs> over them. And then you're gonna take the other one, do the same thing, and pull across your baby. Then you're gonna take the bottom part, the part that you put on first, and put both of the leggies through. <laughs> I just squeezed a burp out of you, didn't I? And then pull it all the way up like this. And then if they're sleeping off to one side, you can put it over their head like that. But there we go. And you can always make it look a lot prettier. Actually, I didn't do too bad of a job this time, but this one is super cozy, super comfortable. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy. I just don't feel as supported with him in this. So these are for like short trips. Like today I was at the post office for like 15 minutes and this worked for me. Um, but as far as like doing dishes around the house and things like that, I don't particularly like to use this one now that he's not a newborn. When he was a newborn, he would just cozy up in this and be like a little ball in here. But now that he's a little bit more mobile, I like to use the other one. And then to take him out of it, it's just the same thing. So you pull the legs out like this. And then this can go down like that. And then same with this one. So again, it will take you a while to learn how to do it. I had to do it probably five times before I got it tight enough. And the longer that they're in it, like the longer you're wearing them for, the more stretched out it gets. So just beware about that. Okay, my love, one last one and then I'll leave you alone. The last one that I have is my ring sling. This one, in my opinion, is the hardest to use. You crying? Cause he mine. Look at him. Okay, so this is what the ring sling looks like. It's just basically fabric connected to two rings. So you're gonna hold it at the top of your shoulder and you're gonna want to go like this and make sure that it's all evenly spread out behind your back. Grab the tail and pull it up through the rings. And then you're going to separate the rings like this and then pull the tail. through the bottom ring. This is the mistake that I made when I very first was trying to get the hang of this. You need to make sure that the tail is completely feathered out through the ring. So like this, feather it out, because this is how you're gonna control the top, the middle, and the bottom. And how to loosen it up is just take the bottom ring and pull like this. So you want it to be loose enough to fit your baby. Babe, I need him now. So this one, he's like, what the heck? <laughs> this one, they kind of sit off to the side as opposed to the other ones. They're like straight on your chest. So I honestly haven't used this one very much. Um, but I'm gonna take him. Yeah. Put him in here. My other ones are just easier, so that's why I like to use them. But eventually, you will get it all the way tightened from top, middle, and bottom. He is fussy, so I am going to take him out of it. 
but that is kind of the gist of how to use this one it seems easy but honestly i feel like the ring sling is the hardest one to use because there's so much adjusting that you have to do in order to have them in correctly like right now i don't even have him in the way that he's supposed to be in but i'm gonna take him out because he is getting fussy but again this is the gist of the ring sling I actually like the feeling of the ring sling because the material is not stretchy. So when he's in here and it's tightened, he is like in here tight. I love the way that the ring sling looks. To get him out, all you have to do is pull bottom ring. Voila, baby is. Hello guys. So it is, I think like 1.30 and I'm officially getting israel dressed for the day right now i think i've decided that i'm going to set up an area for him in our closet to take naps in during the day because i guess it would just make sense that trying to put him down for a nap in a super bright room probably is the reason why he's not going down or why he only stays asleep for about 30 minutes why he sleeps through the night at nighttime because it's dark and there's like no distractions i tried putting him down for his first nap around 12 30 and i just put him in his bassinet and tried to get him down and he wouldn't go to sleep so i was like you know what I'm gonna take my sister-in-law's advice and go rock him in our closet because our closet is pitch black. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it and see what happens. And I took him in there and I had him swaddled and I was just rocking him and he fell asleep. But I didn't have anything in there for him to sleep on. So then I brought him back into his bassinet in our bright room and he ended up waking up after 30 minutes. Hi. 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 That 30 minutes that he was sleeping, I started taking things out of our closet and I'm gonna rearrange some things, move some things around and bring his pack and play in there. It would just be super easy for me to grab his snuggle me and move it back and forth between the pack and play and the bassinet for nighttime. We're gonna do that transition and see how it works out. And the reason that I'm not putting him in his room for nap times is because this is what his room looks like during the day with his curtains closed and all the lights off, like it's this bright. All right, so Aiden wedged the camera right up here so that it looks right down onto Israel when he's sleeping. And I think it's gonna work out perfectly. I'm super excited to try this out. He is getting a little bit fussy and so I'm gonna give him a little snack because he didn't eat much at his last feeding and then swaddle him and put him in there and see how he does. I'm super excited. A little update on how Israel's nap went today with the new setup. Long story short, he didn't nap. Me and Aiden both tried for a good hour and 10 minutes and he was screaming bloody murder, hyperventilating. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. This video shout out is gonna go to Dizzy Duet. So shout out to you. And if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is make sure to be subscribed and comment down below. This verse of the vlog is Romans 8, 6, and it says, The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. Make sure that if you guys want to win free coffee on us, to screenshot this video, post it on your Instagram story, and tag both me and Aiden. We're selecting a new winner every 24 hours. And also, if you guys would like to send us your Christmas cards, you can do so. Our PO box information is down below. You guys are loved, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.